this is uh, just going to be a little bit of practice uh, in making basic classes. So um, we just start off imagining what kind of thing in reality we want to represent. So let's imagine, I don't know, I want to represent a snake. Okay, so we'll make a class called snake and we'll define the initialization. We have to put self as an argument at all times, and we may define um, certain properties that Snake might have, and we can also define ways to initialize them. So we can initialize them using an argument, and that property will be equal to the argument, or we can initialize them with a set value. So, class snake is equal to, what does a snake have? Mm, it has eyes. How many eyes does it have? Two eyes. So, we can say that self.eyes is equal to two. Self.legs. Mm, snakes don't really have legs. So is this an appropriate uh, property for a snake class to have? No, I don't think it is. Snake.tail is equal to true, we'll say. True. Have I done that correctly? Is it supposed to be capital? Yes, it is. True. Okay. Self.venomous. Mm. We're going to say that this is false, that this particular snake class isn't a venomous snake class. And that's it. This is all we need to do to make the snake class. Let's make an object of this class, and then we'll observe it. So, we'll say that um, Python <laughs> is equal to snake function okay so we've initialized our snake and we've called it python just like this programming language and a python is also a large non-venomous snake we'll see what the eyes value of python is we'll see what the tail value of python is and we'll see what the venomous value of Python is, okay? I don't actually have to use um, the print function. Um, I can just ask for those details and they'll go out to the system, but I'd rather use the print function here, just so that we can have a look at those that way, and just so we get used to using the print function, okay? So, we've got Python, let's look at its eyes. So it has two eyes, okay? Just as has been said here. Python.tail. Well, that's true. Python.venomous. Well, that's false. A python isn't a venomous snake. Okay, so this is an okay snake class, but let's say we want a venomous snake, right? So we'll say class snake 2, right? We'll define the initialization. And we'll just pass self as an argument once again. And we'll say self.eyes is equal to 2. Self.tail is equal to true. And self.venomous is equal to true also. Right, let's uh, put that into the system. I called it a Sankey, not a snake. That's not what I'm trying to do here at all. But there we go. There's our snake class. Snake 2 class, should I say. And we are going to say that um, a viper, I think viper's the venomous, is equal to snake 2. We're going to copy and paste all of this, and we're going to replace the word Python with the word Viper for this Viper variable, okay? So Viper, Viper, 
Viper. Viper. True, true, and true. So we can see that our Viper is venomous. It has a tail and it has two eyes. There's a problem here though. If I try and make a Viper with snake, the first snake class, it won't be seen as a venomous snake when it is in fact a venomous snake. Similarly, if I try to make a python and use, instead of using the snake function, use the snake2 function, the python will be classed as a venomous snake when it isn't. I should be able to decide whether a snake is venomous or not by passing it an argument in the constructor. So to do that, we need to change the constructor. Or, I'll make another class called snake3. And we'll give it, oops, we'll, when we define the init or the initialization, instead of just putting self as an argument, we also put venom state. Okay, and that's to determine whether it is or isn't venomous. We'll start with self dot eyes is equal to two. Self dot tail is equal to true. This is because all snakes have a tail and all snakes have eyes, have two eyes. Now, if you blind a snake, it won't have two eyes. And if you cut a snake's tail off, it won't have a tail. But this is referring to snakes that have been newly created or newly born. In general, will have a tail. They may have several tails if they've got some kind of uh, deformity. And they'll have two eyes. They may have more or less if they're deformed, but we're just talking about snakes in general okay and we'll say that self dot venomous is equal to venom snake and the reason we say this is because we don't know if a snake is venomous or not uh, before knowing what type of snake it is and venom snake can vary from snake to snake so we need to pass an argument to represent whatever snake uh, we want to represent okay now in this manner I can say Python is equal to snake free because this is my third class constructor and we're gonna say false because it's not venomous okay I'm just gonna copy and paste that and then we're going to say that Viper is equal to snake free true um, because it is venomous okay and this is going to be reflected in the print statement so I'm going to initialize first off I need to initialize snake free class then I'm going to have to make myself Python or change Python is actually a, a variable that's already been created. We need to change the variable value. It'll actually be the same value. It, it'll make the same object, but that's neither here nor there. And we can see that it has two eyes, it's got a tail, and it's not venomous. It's false that it's venomous. Okay. And if we use Viper, we'll get the values of two eyes. It's true that it has a tail. And it's true that it's venomous because of this argument here, denoting that it's true. This argument that denotes it's false is reflected here. This kind of shows when you might need to use arguments and when you might not need to use arguments. So let's say an item is always going to be the same to begin with uh, when it's created and every instance of it will be the same. Then you can have classes where the initialization has no arguments other than self but whenever you're creating objects of a class where the objects can have a, 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 a property of the objects can differ um it's good to you know put an argument for that because if they differ on creation and you can't reflect that uh, then you have to change those values okay in the real world um a baby isn't born with 700 legs and then you cut 900 600 and uh, 
98 off that child. No, in general, they're born with two legs and nothing has to be cut off. And we're talking about the normal case, not everyone here. And that's that's really all there is to it. You know, you just have to define the initialization, declare a class and declare a class name. The constructor or the method to make a new object is the same as the name. If there are no arguments other than self in the constructor, the parenthesis will be empty. And if there is an argument after self for each argument after self, you have to put an input separated by a comma value uh, as the argument in the parenthesis. Okay. Where self dot something is put into init initialize uh, here, self refers to a property of a snake object. And the dot refers to the property name. And here we're making about it equal to a value. Okay. If we didn't make it to equal to a value, I think it would come up with null. Not entirely sure, uh, but it would still have that property value. In fact, why don't we try that out? Let's see what it does. Um, but if you don't want to try it out with me or whatever, this is more or less the end of the tutorial. So we'll call this test class. Shall we? And we'll define the initialization. Because it might just be that it just fails, to be honest. We'll say that self dot property. We'll say that self dot property two equals zero. So it allows me to make this class, and I assume that self.property in this case will be equal to null, and self.property2 will be equal to zero, as has been stated here. All right. So let's make an item of test class. We'll call it test variable. Okay. And we'll make an item of test class, and obviously there's no argument, so it's just a constructor with empty parenthesis test class object has no attribute property so what this shows is i was incorrect and you actually do have to set a value in some way so there you go now we know that's all thank you for watching and i hope you learned something